<laughs> Ladies, gentlemen, gamers, to round out my somewhat long day of reactions that I'm releasing today, today on YouTube, we are finally finishing on the strong foot here with the Elden Ring Shadow of the Erd Tree official gameplay reveal trailer. So, I left this for last. I'm a little late to the party, as fashionably usual. And we're finally here to react to it. So, my history with Elden Ring slash Souls games in general. I have played Dark Souls 1 in middle school, because I'm an old man at this point. I skipped Dark Souls 2, I played Dark Souls 3. I pretty much like all the Souls games, however, I do feel like they're a bit repetitive. Uh, it basically just becomes learn the patterns of the boss if you're like 99% of people. Unless you're like that 1% that could just beat anything the first time. Most of the time you're going to die, you're going to repeat, you're going to do it. And you know, I'm kind of minimizing things here, but that's because I don't like to blow and suck off the Souls games like everyone else. Do I like it? Yes. Is it the best thing in the world? No. I find it kind of repetitive, but repetitive is good if you like what's being repeated. Which is why I play roguelikes. But regardless, uh, excuse me, the thing I like most about Elden Ring or the Souls games in general is just the sheer amount of times where you think you're fucked and then the boss just comes out with something else and then just fucks you harder. Like, the, the fucking that you get, even though you're going to get fucked, like I just said, a bunch of times, the ways in which you get fucked initially when you see the boss and then you get to like, you know, you get their health down and then they go into second phase or whatever... I think it's very, very interesting and cool just to see how far they take some of these bosses. I think the Souls-like games redefine how cool bosses are. I really do believe that. And the lore for the Souls-like games and how they do it, they literally spawn their own genre called Souls-like because games are copying them. You know when people are copying you, you're doing it right, you're the trap setter. But that's one thing that, you know, is still the same in Elden Ring. The bosses are cool as shit. There's certain fights where it's like they go into second phase, you're like, oh shit. I mean, to kind of bring, you know, Dark Souls into here. I remember in the Yorm fight, I think it was in Dark Souls 3 with Yorm, the giant, where you're fighting him and he tears his own fucking arm off to then beat you with it and make the fight harder. I love that shit. I love when there's like a crazy second phase. You know, we all remember Ornstein and Smog, right? That wasn't crazy. It was just more like, great, I'm fucked now. Like, this is annoying. Like, I think the phases are so fucking good. The lore is amazing. I mean, you know, I wish I played Bud Bloodborne. These games, ironically enough, all the Souls-like games, scare the shit out of me because it's going to take a hard fisting to get through those games, and you're going to feel it. And again, the initial fear of just getting jumped by a boss sometimes, where once you go through that smoke, you know they're going to appear, and you're just, like, fearful of, like, what the fuck they're going to do to your anus. So... Even though it is repetitive, even though it's not as great as everyone else sees it, to me, you know, everyone's entitled to their opinion, I still like it, and there are things, like I just said, like the bosses specifically, and the lore that I really, really enjoy. Anyway, to get into actually Elden Ring here, I have played all of Elden Ring on my stream, on Twitch TV slash Technics channel. And among almost all of my friends... I'm the only one who really beat the game, besides one of my other friends. A lot of people I know did not beat this game. I beat it all the way through. Will I play the DLC on stream? Honestly, most likely. This is where hopefully in the comments people will tell me if they'd like to see it. But uh, I am feeling like I'm going to beat it just to add it to the check mark, saying like, I am this good at games. Not that it needs to be proven, but I am. But either way, enough lollygagging, enough jibber jabbering. Let's take a look at the trailer here. I'm very excited. Let's lower it because it's kind of loud. I have happy music in the background too. It's a little bit of a mismatch. So I wonder if they're going to go forward with the lore. I wonder if one of our choices Pure is going to be like... Radiant. Oh! He wields love to shrive clean the hearts of men. Oh! Wait, who are they? Mikola? Oh god. Okay, so this is after Mog, I think. There is nothing more. Okay, let me just pause it here. I don't know when this is taking place. I don't want to give any like spoilers, or at least major spoilers, even though... If you're watching this, you should have beaten the game already, or at least know what happens. But let's just say, I don't know if this is a prequel. I don't know if this is a sequel. But from what we can see right now, and obviously I'm talking about to the main story of the game. From what I'm seeing right now, this looks like it could be a sequel. But I'm not too sure because we kind of make a decision. Now, granted, it might fast forward that and show us the end result of that decision when we complete the story, when it plays the cutscene. But 
I don't know how this is going to relate to the story. I'm very curious. Very, very curious. And because it has a $40 price point, and this is where From Software typically gives you a lot of bang for your buck anyway, I don't think we're going to get skimped out. And now the games are $70 fucking dollars. We better not get fucking skimped out. But the fact that they're charging $40 for this, I trust From Software to actually provide us with a good amount of fucking content. So that's good. But either way, I, I don't know where this takes place in the story because depending on which route you choose for the ending, you know, we really shouldn't be seeing some of this. More terrifying. But Mikkel is just here. Why are they showing Mikkel, uh? Oh, the lands. Oh, the horse! I wonder what the new area is gonna be. Okay, this is a lot of shit now. Ah, yes, gravestones. Yes. From software. Yes. I thought he was gonna jump over that. Oh, the Earth Tree! There's like fucking curtains on it. What the hell? God, yeah, somebody on it. This game looks so cool. Was that oh, Havel? Spin. Like, dude, some oh, of these bosses are so fucking cool. Uh, we have a regular they first person. Really that place looks disgusting. She's hot. Oh my god, it always goes back to the jars, bro. They will never sink. They just happen to be on the losing side. What is the is that a giant jar? What is that? Ew, it's sucking us. Oh, nah, what is that? Ew! It looks like a chimera! Oh my god, is that the stupid thing that causes instant death? Oh, we're fighting the same thing? Alright, that's obviously it's phase two, but... Mother... Oh? What's that Ew, his arms are elongated! I looks creepy. He looks like Satan. Of light. Wait. Wait a minute. Oh, shit! Wait, that guy looked like he was like the brother and like child of uh, Melania. Oh damn, you got melee shit. You, yo, they love the fucking. What the hell? Oh my god. Just what kind Mikola is doing. Wait, Mikola. So is this talking about Mikola? There's a lot of red here. Words in Melania. They really love these jars. Oh my god, that thing is disgusting. It looks like a fucked up hippo porcupine. Ew, what the hell? Oh, nah, oh, nah, he's tearing his own head off. Yeah, that looks like Melania's, like, gun or something. I'm not really listening to the dialogue, though. Oh, my God. What the? You become an angel. Okay, that's pretty cool. I really hope they didn't show us the last boss there with the red-haired guy. Wait, what the? Is that Merica? What the fuck was that shit? Okay, so now that I'm thinking about it, this might actually just be a DLC that inserts itself into the story. Like, this might be... Like, they, they might just fit it in into the story while you're going through it before the ending. So that's honestly what it could look like. They could honestly just fit it in and be like, oh, you actually do this as well. But, um, yeah, this is definitely interesting. This guy, you know, I'm not really going to listen to the voice quotes here. I'm not going to do an in-depth analysis of this, but this guy definitely, definitely seems like he's related to, um, oh my god, Melania. I, there, there's so many M's here. Melania, America, I mean, there's two, but either way, this guy looks crazy. I hope he's not the final boss. I hope they didn't reveal that. What I also like about the Souls games is sometimes the final boss, especially of some of the DLCs, it's like some no-name person who's actually really cool, really crazy, really fucking strong, too, that we just have no clue about, and then they just reveal them for the first time, like Slave Night Gale. But um, this is really cool. I mean, I'm very excited. I'm probably going to buy it, probably going to play it on stream again. If anyone really wants to see it, that'll only more convince me to do it because I'm a little on the edge right now because I don't have too much time. But for the viewers, I'll do anything. Almost. Kind of. But yeah, no, this is this looks very, very exciting. It's coming out June 21st. You could pre-order it now, even though that doesn't really mean anything anymore nowadays. But this is pretty cool. I'm very excited. Very excited. Not too excited, but pretty excited. But anyway, I hope everyone enjoyed. Come watch me at Twitch TV says Technic channel. This was really cool.